Bozenga! Welcome, folks. We're here back to Battle Brothers, joined with... Browbeat. What? What? Browbeat. There we go. And a special guest star. Star Kyle. guest star. Star guest. Star guest. Star guest, star guest, star guest, star guest I like it. Star guest who? Kaya. There we go. All right. We're back to this. It's yes. Battle Brothers. So... What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, one thing I wanted the whole time in this game was for the nobles to fight. And now they are. If you look here in the map, this town's already been starting to ruins. So, white versus black. What a shocker. Are fighting it out. Don't know why. No backstory. They warned you for like 10 days ahead of time. No, Something's no, going there's on. There's a backstory, but you're such a, such a piece of shit that wouldn't tell you what it is. Yes. Of course, I don't have time either. And... You're out of tools. And supplies. And Damn. supplies. So what, what happened? How many days were you in last time? 30, 40 days? Yeah. Now it's been two I more months and things are falling apart? But yeah, yeah. Um, I did some jobs up in the north here, which was actually quite interesting. And then I came down here because these guys were fighting. Then I thought, hey, let me join. Bad did, did you qualify? Idea. Were you suddenly renowned enough to be a, a official vassal of the kingdoms? Yes, yes. My renown has jumped up quite a bit. Reputable. Reputable. Do you get certain kinds of perks? Or just, here's more jobs of a higher caliber? Perks of uh, jobs and the money. How reputable you are towards the towns. What about your group? Who's left? Oh, we I we did have a loss, of course. Kurt. Yeah. He was my big swinging axe guy. Don't know if I remember. Yeah, I think uh, oh, you yeah, guys no, saw no, him no. last we, time. We saw him. We saw him. He was definitely the guy who stepped in at the very last second. Killed off the foe and claimed all the glory. He was a hog. He was awesome. Obituary. There's Kurt. 74 days. We made it far. 32 battles, 33 kills, chopped by just a simple brigand thug. <laughs> <laughs> it was sad. An ignominious death. Look at all this. It's sad. It's sad. It is sad. But I think that's what this whole game is. I, since you showed this game to me, I've been looking at some more opinions of how people feel. And for the most part, they seem to say that while the mechanics are fun, they feel like they're just spinning their tires and not getting very far in the obscure world of peasant brigandry. I want to be noble someday. So does everyone else. What are you special about? Well, they have four different uh, events that go on throughout this game. And it took me 114 days to get through the first one. Um, events or phases? I guess phase in this world. Um... Although they are irrelevant, all of them together. Goblins rising, nobles fighting, you know, an invasion from the north, that kind of stuff. That's pretty big world building stuff, though. And, again, I'm at nobles fighting, and what is this? Oh, oh, let me get my narr. <laughs> it's Salem. It's so pretty. Uh, let me get uh, my narrator here to do his lovely Eastern European medieval voice. You come to a tree along. Oh, oh, shit, try again. You come to a tree along the path. There's a man talking to a cat. But as you get closer, you realize he's tied a rope around the fearful feline's neck. No. Hmm. Purr. Yes, keep purring. All will be well. I'm sorry you saw the things I did. I love your purring. Put the lotion on the skin. <laughs> you raise your voice. Sir! Sir! The second the man turns around, you see that he is a bannerman of the house Armsburg. Seeing its chance, the cat slips its noose and scatters. Go kitty. The man cries out and gives chase. Hopefully, that is the last you see of them both. You come to a man sitting in the road. He's got a dog nestled on his lap. Though the mutt's head is hanging limp and bloodied, the man looks up at you. Have you seen my dog? It's black, matted, and has a white tail. Have you seen my dog? The puppy he's describing is currently in his lap, but you do not, you do not say as much. Instead, you shake your head and tell the man a simple, no. He shakes his head in return. <laughs> the bannermen of House Armsburg came by, destroyed everything, and they took my dog. Say, have you seen my dog? Keanu Reeves over there. <laughs> All right. Uh, obviously, it keeps telling you the nobles are fighting, and I have a feeling it's going to push you to choose sooner or later. You can't play middleman, maybe. Um, Do you have it already chosen? No, uh, not here. I did choose a couple times. Well, let's say four times. Here we go. A <laughs> couple. Three, four, five, whatever. This is where it tells you. Uh, oh, wait. Actually, I'm wrong. Oh. I love when you're wrong. 
Duke Theobald von Armsbrooks gets up and goes to his window, stops, shakes his head, and returns to his table. He takes a slow, measured seat. At first I got word that it was brigands. Then I heard it was raiders from the coasts. Then the survivors began to talk. Now you know what my problem is. You shrug. Goblins. Doesn't matter. The man raises an eyebrow. Greenskins, sell sword. That's who it is. They are rampaging around Eisenstein, and I need you to stop them. Does it matter now? Alright, so I do avoid green skins, especially three skulls. Um, they're very hard to beat, but we're going to try. We're not going to shy away, and can't do too much. Either way, I'm dying. <laughs> Every decision I take. So, let's see how much he wants to pay. Whoa! This will make you a rich man, my friend. No, it won't. No. Won't it? Won't it? Give, give me a comparison here. That seems like a good amount of money. Yeah. Four figures when you're done. It's actually a lot better when they try to get you to join the army and fight for the noble house. Well, how much? For example, 5,000? 10,000? No, no. It's like 45, 48, somewhere around thousand. there. And then they give you about 1,000 in advance. Well, damn. That's quite a bit. 4,000, 5,000, yeah. So he wants to take out right. the vermin no matter what. The greenskins or you. Whichever. So let's try... So we could just do 3,000. Actually, I'm going to piss him off. Yep. <laughs> Get out! All right. That's fine by me. Because um, I forgot I am out of supplies. Before I leave, can I get some more chisels? I need some chisels. There we go. Forget tools. I'm going to need tools. And this was one of the reasons, too. I mean, I, I just was not ready for the noble house of the fight. And these... The armies were just heavily armed. Civil war doesn't wait for you it to be ready. Bad. Yeah, It, it was, simply breaks out. I am going to have to save some money, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. That's the key when you want to fight these houses is to upgrade your men. Um, or hire better men, perhaps. Dismiss too, your friends and get some better I mercs. could do a lot of small jobs or even good-sized jobs, and uh, it's expensive to get men. I don't know if I, uh, I've what been to this it? town. What is a decent amount of gold in this game? So far, I've... On the Noble Houses, you could accept the contract of 4000 1000 in advance. Um, to go by, I try to do 2000 minimum. Because you use... You know, you pay your men. That's like two, 300 a day. And then, you know, your food supplies. You're running about a good 600 a day. Or a week operating, probably. Without wages. And what do you want to have in your pocket? Because tools are expensive. Tools are 250 and they get used up after battle. You need probably 500 in tools alone just to repair your equipment after battle. Right. And then, if you want, you could go to the hospital and get their he uh, wounds healed up quicker. That's like five, 600 But you go to the market here, the basic stuff, you know, pitchfork, and prices do change, not through events, but just in the towns itself. Um, 78 is always cheap, but let's see, I'm spending 256 a day. I'm going through this. The 43 will. My god, Sorry, that's a fast folks. horse. <laughs> 40, uh, yeah. See, I won't even make it a couple days. So it's getting expensive. 311. Some of the blacksmith's tools are expensive too, but. Can I you try find to, or salvage tools? Uh, you loot after the battles. Uh huh and then repair it. You take enemy's scrap gear and you sell it for tools. So things aren't too expensive, but it, uh, you need a lot of money to try to upgrade and get good men. Because so a, a good man will cost you about two, 3000 The same guy is now offering you a easier job. Get out! Well, you're back, so how about something easier? Get two thirds as much for less challenge. Let's see what happens. Plus, I just bought food. I should be fine for the moment. Quick, easy money. But where is it? Where? Yeah. That's so far. Why is it even his problem? What the fuck? <laughs> Go two counties over and kill it for this man. But I like it. I mean, I don't know how much more you could do in battles with this game. Uh, you could uh, you you can maybe flank a little bit more, but when it comes to strategies, um, you know you you notice my men. But what I'm, here what I'm hearing I you say reserve. is the systems in this game remind you of the the degradation system in Zelda Breath of the Wild. 
The action might be competent, but your stuff keeps breaking all the time, and having to juggle what you have available to play with gets a little bit tedious. Resource game. Yes. So either you get the most plentiful common denominator, or you just try not to fight as much as you can. But there's one time in early access I fought this battle, and I was outnumbered. I'm like, ah, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just let's just play and uh, call it a game, right? Let it end. <laughs> and uh, oh, we saw a version of events days of future past where this went to hell. <laughs> and I said, you know, uh, I fought them and won, actually. I fought the law and I actually won. This you time. won over the law? Yeah. That's incredible. How did you manage? Actually, I didn't do anything special. I just kept a defensive stance the whole time. I flanked around a little wall. bit and uh, flanked <laughs> around a little bit. It's the summer. The summer horses are out. It's not going to help. No worries. We need the air. We need the we need air. The airflow. We're out of tools. So you can control your destiny for sure. Uh, if I yeah, you, fought, you could starve or you I, could freeze to death. If That's, I fought this company, uh -huh. it would be a whole different story. Oh, RimWorld. Rim I told World. you I uh, played a little bit of RimWorld. Yes, you did. And I'm actually... It's cool because the weather in that game makes a huge difference. Like winter time's coming, mm -hmm. it's cold, I have to have fires, I have to build these fires around, and a heater just to keep them from getting sick. Gotcha. It's really good. Yeah. Many That's the young part orc. I didn't understand. That's a cool name, Many Young Orc. So this might be a little easy. Let's see. Anything green is not really easy, but... But the green skins. Terrain. Who are shaped a lot like Warhammer works, as opposed to... Mm -hmm. uh, Lord of the Rings orcs. Have you changed your tactics at all after playing much longer, or all yeah. the same? Some are, depending on. Depending on. Um, especially when you change your men, you change your tactics, too. Right. Uh, I thought I changed his shield fellas, and everything. Fellas, all archers. Man, that summer horse is running around hard out there. <laughs> yeah. It's a white guy riding that horse. <laughs> Absolutely. Screaming at woo. I look him up. Most likely vaping. Yeah. Most likely. <laughs> What's wrong with vaping? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Thing. Yeah, it's it's part of the package. It's really important you know how much fun he's having, whether you want to or not. Because he's not having fun unless he's butting into yours. I see you are... Uh, does the fact that there's a small cliff make a difference to your troops? Will you get pushed off of it and take damage? Uh, yes, it can, but not take damage. Um, okay. I, I, it's just annoyance, fatigue points, I think, the only thing. <laughs> annoyance. Fell 16 feet. Oh, man. Archery, too. Yeah, you blockage. You can't, yeah. But your archer could flank around and fire across the cliff. Across the ravine. <laughs> or he could really just shoot straight up and hope it lands. <laughs> Shooting straight up is always best plan. The arrow hits so hard when it comes back down, you know? It's got the power of the earth behind it. No, that's not how that works. Close ranks! Titan formation! Pikeman to the second rank! So, I left Reinhardt exposed, and he can't get out, unfortunately, but I do have some good men around him. He can get out. Help through the enemy. He can get out by killing his opposition. How? How do you do that? How do you shoot short than over? He's drunk. <laughs> Go home, Hubie. No time oh, for you today. Just body slammed him. You got two stunned frontliners. Three, four, five. Wow, <laughs> everyone's dazed. They're, dazed and confused. They're awestruck. Well, I think it clears pretty fast, actually. Interesting. I can imagine if, you, if you're going through battle after battle, the flow gets pretty smooth. It's enjoyable to be able to refine your tactics and see how economically you can get out of <laughs> fights. <laughs> He's down below. Less hit points. I can see your balls from here. Stop it. Alright. 95. That's a safe bet. Oh. My ear. Clubs. Clubs. Are the orcs ever well armed, as far as you saw? Uh, yes. Yes. A lot more. Ah, this guy right here. Or even him right here. He's probably as armed as I've ever seen. Well, not the class of weaponry by stats, but, like, they have leather straps and bones and twigs. I mean, like... I haven't seen any big fancy steel. weapons or anything. Gotcha, gotcha. So they're kept thematically repressed. 
Who was it? Uh, oh, did you remember watching In the Name of the King? With what, Jason Dungeon Statham? Siege? Dungeon Unfortunately, Siege. Unfortunately, yes. The, the movie that had nothing to do with the game. Yes. Okay. I, I don't remember the game. I should now, with the days of YouTube, I could probably look it up. Uh-huh. It's not um, a bad game. Really? May, may be worth looking into. From what, though? Or, or, where's the game? What console? What is it PC? PC? The only game that came to consoles was Dungeon Siege 3, which was barely its former self. It was much closer to uh, Gauntlet or um, the, the console Baldur's Gate entries. But Dungeon Siege 1 and 2 were very Diablo-esque, which I know you don't like so much, Coin. But they began with you as a farmer. And you took up the quest to save the kingdom, if you can. And you just picked up weaponry as you went along, and the more you used a certain class, like magic, ranged, or melee, you got better at that. And you built your character through usage. You can make hybrid classes, or you can stick to something very specific. And you could also hire donkeys as party members. What? Would haul, yeah, they, they would haul all of your shit. Okay, so were you just like uh, one man going through you, this? You could control the whole party, whatever you got, but you were you. You were farmer. And so the, the idea is by the end of the game, you became legend because you were the farmer that saved the kingdom from incredible odds. Okay, so it wasn't anything like, which I loved the movie at the time too, mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't anything like the movie? Uh, insofar as there's, there's a kingdom and there's a farmer, yes, but it wasn't Jason Statham. He couldn't play Monk, unfortunately. The second game was a lot more... Uh, Bye. Bye! Bertold, the Philly Fiddler. Oh, wow. Fiddly, 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 fiddly. Dead. The second game had a lot more uh, over-the-top low fantasy to it, where the enemy was a very Mordor-esque faction full of monstrosities and engineering uh, that fought elves and gnomes and whoever else was there, dryads. Okay, so from the movie, it had a magical standpoint. There, there was magic, absolutely. And then it had the orcs? No orcs. They reminded me. The orcs, orcs is what reminded me. What were they then? Uh, well, there were Krug. There were Krug, -like, that's right. Yeah. And there were other troll-like creatures, and there were a lot of magical creatures. There were undead. Um, and then there were the uh, the invading forces that were basically n not Draenei, let's call them, from another place of existence entirely. But it was all about how the king got it subverted and an uh, ancient evil wants to take over. He needs a vessel in this world. Bye. Pick Kashmir. Up the, pick Asia. up the head and the way out. Not Asia. Kashmir. Kasimir. Kasimir. Uh, Kasimir. Uh, He's Polish. Kashmir <laughs> He looked all fancy, too. Like, uh, whatever. Let's see. Hopefully we won't have any more. Wow. He's got a long spear. Oh, and that long spear just killed him. <laughs> oh, he's like two times. Wow. I two didn't tons. know that, actually. What, that you know that spears cool. poke through distance? I'm well, surprised he can attack <laughs> behind the shield wall with a spear. Warhammer rules. You can just put it in the shoulder of the guy in front of you. Yeah, there was a legendary company of mercenaries that could fight through three ranks because they had long pikes. Reinhardt! You're bleeding! Wavering! Cut artery! Oh. He might make it. Maybe. Oh, he will. Uh, if I kill homeboy here. So he you've lost two out. men so far. So bleeding's bad too, because every time they move or even a turn goes by, they bleed out a certain amount. Sure. Wait a second, they bleed out? Cause, yes. Yeah. Because what about Seven the body's days. response? Like, okay, oh, well, you, you, you lost a limb. Cramps. Um, stop bleeding. Bonk. Oh, that head lighted three hexes away. Oh. Retrieve the head. It's down the cliff. I can't. Son the dog. You see... I am not even close to the same class uh, of what the noble house war. No, no, you you are a dirty, dirty fight dog. These orcs, and this is why I don't like the orcs. Here we go. Lash, aim for an opponent's head. Somewhat unpredictable in damage, but able to strike over or around the shield cover with a bit of luck. And that's a flail skill. Yes. Uh, yeah. And then. The flail itself. Flail <laughs> at the opponent, someone unpredictable damage, blah, blah, blah. It's always unpredictable. It's a flail. You're launching a ball projectile on a chain at some hard stuff. It's going to bounce. Usually not in your favor. Yeah. Ah! Can you actually aim for certain parts? No. You actually have to trust your character. And that is a true uh, statement. Your character has to be somewhat decent at that weapon or just decent at aiming or and he can't have one eye that will lower his vision which makes the <laughs> stats drop um, there's a lot of stats when it comes to 
Um, Whoa, like that. Yeah, see, he, he's bleeding. <laughs> I can't go, though. I can't escape because in here, attack him, and here we go. So, move up. Move up. Flank him. Ah, that saves him. Folks. Saves his life. And that's what's cool about this. Every character has its stats where you could kind of know this character. And a story. Let's remind ourselves. And a story, too. Which things is that happen awesome. to characters, they write down in their bio, so you have bonuses or penalties based upon events. And it wants his pants. Be. Minus five courage. <laughs> it wants, Drank his own yeah. piss. Plus five morale. <laughs> it wants you to connect with that character. You did it. Oh, the Cashmere the and Bertold. the Philly pedophile. He had good armor, though. Philly cheese pedophile. He, 13 days, only in one battle, zero kills. And Abercrombie here had 13 days, two battles, two kills. Uh, Goblin was his uh, biggest victory. Reinhardt. Who did the most in this battle? Reinhardt did pretty well, damage-wise. Rodolf did the most. Maynard. Maynard. Or Rodolf. Maynard. What did he do? 105 days, 42 battles, and 31 kills. That's... Yeah, he started a couple it's been there for weeks. a while. Yeah. So with 40 battles, are the battles always interesting to you, or do you just kind of auto through some of them? I never auto through any. I don't even... No, I mean, I just, uh... I fight for my life every battle, basically. That meat doesn't look savory. Uh, Strange may meat. May seem risky, but it is preferable start. I, I think that. I think it's long pork. I'm pretty sure it's long pork. <laughs> That's okay, take all the stuff. Look at some of these weapons. Yeah, they're Shield very orky. These I need, but these were from my dead men. Uh-huh. Um, all right. You survived the engagement. Can you survive the way back? Yes, but I should do... I, I kind of understand the mercenary's mind. Don't do anything unless you get paid for it. Yep. Because I've lost men, I've lost time, money, of just trying to do the good thing or fight. So the payday you're about to get, is that even worth it at this point, or no? Also, you got to level up. Somewhat. Experience for the men, even though I lost two. Give them experience. Give them experience, quickly. The day is getting lost. Whoa. I'm probably going to get attacked. I know, you love this part. I love You want to make sure I do everything The optimum. Right. The optimum. Your characters will tell you what they like to do. He's unhappy. And I think because Abercrombie there and the pedophile died, didn't help. He enjoyed the visit Dolman. I don't know who enjoys that town. He's sad that Philly died. Yeah. That's, that's, I guess they were friends. Maybe they have some unsavory habits. All right. Perks. Um, well, don't you have to live up first? Uh, no. Or you just assign to the screen. Okay, or. cool, cool, cool. Assign it. So, it's still low. Gifted. Anyone who watches this, you could pause <laughs> and read. Um, no. Rotation allows characters to switch places while ignoring zone of control as long as neither character is stunned, rooted, or otherwise disabled. Does the other character have to have rotation or no? None of them have rotations either, so, and I've never seen okay, anything so from well, the enemy. One can, one can know it, and there's yeah. like, hey, switch me. Guy goes, oh, okay, I guess. He doesn't have a shield. Range defense isn't so bad, but it's not much of a defense. Uh, here we go. Hit chance, melee, double, ten percent, ally surrounding. There we go. This is perfect for him. If there's actually backstabbing to be done, when it's wall to wall, not a huge uh, advantage. But if the spearman the flanks, flanks, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, do and it. He's always with someone because he has no defense. That's good. That's a good pairing. He can be your fabled hero spearman. But, but he's good at ranged. <laughs> Melee. No. Okay. Whatever. Resolve is fine. Hit points is good. Hit points is always good. But, wow. He could last a long time. Uh, defense probably should go up. But you see how little error. it improves. How little it improves per level. This character is not defense oriented. Avoid an arrow coming to his head. Okay. Hit points. Resolve. Like you don't you don't see the benefit in that. Maximum tool. fatigue. What do you say, Browbeat? Uh, I'm saying maybe give him some range skills or some of that uh, low stat, whatever that bar is, underneath the Griffin. You see 104. Is that stamina? Initiative. Yeah, make him go faster. 
Browbeat says, you see what he's good at? Do that. Plus four, plus four, you plus four. always criticize my upgrade of the men. Yes. And that's why I've lost so many. Yes. <laughs> All right. You don't specialize. You do what you think is cool. Which is no, a valid way. No, I do what I think they use the most. Uh -huh. For instance... See, right here, I'll pick the Flail Mastery. Because I'll keep him that way. Ah, here's the stats. Mm -hmm. So, my biggest one's hit points. That's I mean, I can, I can only difference. assume that he was not good at melee, but you forced him to get good at melee. They all are good if at it, melee. If it was plus defense three every level, bad. sure, I get that. D defense is always bad on all of them. Range and... Uh, well, I, I haven't seen that part, so I have to trust you on it. Melee. Um, but I always go for melee. They need to get those hit points. They need to stab. They need to freaking kill. They need to be good. And then, well, they're all melee. I, I don't have archers. Archers only get this one, two shots. This one, one shot. <laughs> so you, you haven't been in a battle where you had a defensive line and archers that These didn't. guys move up by the second turn. They're in the guy's face. Well, and what's then the limitation? What's the range? Risk. Well, you risk well, some. This mouse, one's mouse short, over the crossbow. obviously. Obviously. Crossbows go for a while. Six tiles. So, and the, these guys, by second turn, they're in your face, right? Then yeah. you risk hitting them because you're in the back of the line anyway. If you're a bad then, archer, yes. But if you get good enough, probably not. You learn some of those skills. Not. He, he's hit a couple people before. It's shields or something, but he hasn't been so bad. Um, Ulfer... Three days. Eh, he's gotten three kills. He's gotten twenty. Not bad. All right. So what do I have here? Crushed finger, light wounds, three days. <laughs> Cut artery, three Collapsed days. Collapsed lung. He's not gonna be. Oh, he's already missing eye. Cut artery, three days. Do you want to put them in camp, like out of the fighting, or no? So you put them in the camp like this. You have risk of getting ambushed. Oh, really? Because you're yeah. slowing down. Okay. Especially in the fields. If there are brigands or someone around, they will attack you. And it's not like you actually see them. Just something will pop up saying you're being attacked. Hmm. Um, but they do need to rest. And especially if you have tools and supplies and food. You've got a bit of food. Not for two days or so. No, less. Oh, good. These guys eat a lot. <laughs> You've got a day left. 1870... Yeah, I'll barely break a break even. I just need to get back there and get another job quick. <laughs> so you are living contract to contract. Yes. Good job. With no room to upgrade. I mean, there was one I did upgrade a couple men. Uh, or, I'm sorry, I uh, hired a couple of good men. One ended up dying. Just one. Um, That's good. You know, there's like old knights and stuff. You look... Uh, Turmburg. What do they have here? They've got some fine looking tunics. I've learned some of the places, good places to sell. Normally I'll sell at the castles. Uh, I'm not going to use the Morning Star. <laughs> what about Army the Big Axes? Middle. Those are worth quite a bit. 44. Considering. Hey, two Big Axes These gets your dog. Yeah, I guess one I'm not going to have a guy. Oh, it's worth a thousand, but it'll buy for 160. What a guy. What a deal. I know. I'll take them off your hands for 10% of the value. Which reminds me, I don't know why I still haven't... I can't answer that for you. You do some strange stuff. Oh, where is he? I thought I had my guy with the round shield, but I think he died. <laughs> you weren't paying attention. Okay. Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> he, he, he was in for a while. That's why he had the round shield. I think that was uh, Philly the Peddler, or, or the Fiddler, or whatever. Philly Peddler Philly. Um, 11580. Go to my guy here. He's got. Uh, You're thinking of something. I'm not sure what it is. The best armor for. See, he's 95. The guys I use the most. He could get that. That's an upgrade for him. So, who would I use the most? Would you call that a Halberk or a Gambison? <laughs> well, neither. It's Neither. clearly a quaff. <laughs> All right, he gets it. He gets awarded the more armor. I foresee him <laughs> doing great things in the future. Sure, like taking access to the face. All right, what, get can, a, what can he, you buy? Food ski. So 
you get salt because you know they produce salt and go up north and sell it much higher than that good because they're not used to salt nope no mines up there so there is a little trading factor in this game which is great too um and then as you know my could, objective could you could you make a profit doing just trading runs with minimal contracts yeah, they don't have too many resources, but yeah, I assume you can, but it would take just Riggins, as long as this. Run! Fifteen of them, too. They're not chasing... Oh, they are trying to chase. Maybe. Just go. Just, just go. It's cool. Well, they, they're like wolves. They smell blood and weakness. They go after you. Oh, where am I going? I Hopefully to get paid. So, my ambition is to gather the amount of 7,500 crowns or more, which I never had before, Kaya. So... That you can afford to buy a cart for additional inventory spaces. Hmm. You, you want to buy Winnebago. <laughs> so that cart would come in handy. <laughs> you go to buy Donkey. Load it up with shit like Dungeon Siege. <laughs> the hardest part about donkeys is fitting all of them in elevators. Would it be my game? Is it a strategy? Is it like no. the Oregon Trail or something? Or no. is it just Doom? No. What? Beat up monsters. That's it? That's Repetitive? it. Yes, but the exploration is kind of nice. The whole game is one long line of travel. While marching the lands, you come and find a farmer being accosted by a well-to-do looking man. Seeing you, the farmer <laughs> quickly calls out, Sire, help me! This treasurer wants to take my crops! My cock? What? Take my cock. The king needs it. The treasurer nods. Seemingly as though there's no crime being committed here. It's like Robin Hood all over again. <laughs> That is correct. I have sent... Now, you recognize how these have the houses, even uh -huh. the last story? I'm yep. telling you, the game's trying to force you to choose. All right, so I've been sent from the house Gata. I'm guessing it's the green guys from north. Probably. And I am here to collect food stores for the army. This is our land, and thus our crops. The grinds of war get steadily worse. Humbert asks what you want to do. So, folks... My men are injured, they're tired, they just want to get paid. And farmers come along, getting robbed. Uh-huh. It's not my shitty village. I should just kill both of them and get food for myself. If you can kill them. And this is none of my business. It truly is I'm a mercenary. Please, sir! Uh, no. My feet hurt, I got bleeding men, and I'm almost out of cash. But what kind of person am I? If what kind I of person? If I just let it be... Uh, true neutral. I mean... I'm here for the job. And that's the thing. That's the mercenary look right there. You're here for the job. You Although can try I still to help everyone that's not gonna, that's not gonna win. Y you can do that, but you haven't saved in a while. So the consequences I are know. yours, coin. It's so great! Do you want to play hero right now? I know! You want to see if heroes, heroes and so pace? These guys are gonna you be can lose four armed. more men at least and oh, get yeah. some grain for Six your efforts. Six men, for sure. But you know what's so cool about that? Maybe a doggy. You got a doggy. What, what's cool about it? Less mouths to feed. Fewer mouths, you're right. <laughs> and less now, wages. That, that will raise morale, absolutely. We can eat the dog. Kaya, do we go with kindness of the heart here? Uh, or do we go with just getting paid and taking care of my men? Or saying, okay, better idea, give me all the shit. <laughs> I kind of like the last option. Really? The farmers and the heavily armed men attacking you? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, just home. one man, by the looks of it. He could have an armed escort nearby. But then... <sighs> Alright, folks. Leave him alone! Wow, this ended up differently. Although morality has a little bit in the play in the game of war, you can't help but think this poor farmer's done nothing wrong. You grab the treasurer by his shirt and press him against the farmhouse. His eyes go wide as though you just pierced some veil in of invincibility. Just what do you think you're doing, you motherfucker? You loosen go the Go Joe on him. <laughs> you tax motherfucker, you! His name does have the back in a one. Tell you. Tell your man that this farmer had nothing to offer you, son. Crops were bad this season. You got it, cuz? Or I'll fuck you up the next time you come back. You're up in my shit now. Don't mess with me. <laughs> who who are you again? Too far. <laughs> so gangsta. You put one hand on his crotch of your sword. And the sword, the man glances at it, and then quickly nods. You have a big cock. I will leave you alone. I don't know if I could take that. Uh, I, I, it's been a dry season, and my butthole is pretty dry and chappy. 
Every time. The farmer thanks you Every for the time. bottom of his heart. Why did this get so gay? <laughs> Gangster and gay. Oh, yeah, this, this happens Genius. a lot with coin. <laughs> and also out of the blue. The Into of the, the deep stores. blue. We know what's on his mind. All right, so I gained grain. Yep. I almost butt raped some government official. And Rodolph. After some he heavy petting, Rodolph is content. We did, we did so good. It was a good Friday. <laughs> we did good this day. It was a good day. Hooray! Just had to just had to get wet before he got to the job. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Boom! And we just got paid. And the little town is not uh, getting pillaged by the Greenskins. The Greenskins came this far? I find that hard to believe. They love the town. I'm quite curious here. <laughs> they have the best kebabs. So, Sword, I've been contracted to deliver some particular cargo to Isles and... Eisenstein. Eisenstein. You got it. Eisenstein. Close enough. Good, 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 good. You think it's German? Uh, yes. I, I happen to believe it's so. All right. You haven't seen a caravan guard yet. I have not. It's going to be a short job. Okay. No, it's going to be a long... It's probably going to be a far away job. Just shitty pay. <laughs> Terrific. If anyone survives, we'll pay you. Okay. But after this... We are caravan van. Yes. Then we pillage the other caravan. Look, I more the, goods. Wait, I am the... Okay, so they have three guards. This guy's... Uh, I don't know. This guy's a low life. Uh, <laughs> he can't afford any more guards, except for me. Well, after a while, you can protect your cargo, but it, if it's not profitable, what's the point? And where am I going? Wow, someone is nearby. All right. Mercenary, might I have a word... You turn to, surprisingly, find a man in the back of one of the wagons. He's covered in chains. Django, that you? <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> hey, you don't talk to him, boy. <laughs> I'll have you know that I am Hostin von Gatta, the House of Gatta. House of Gatta, didn't I just beat you up the treasure? Well, I did beat him. You threatened him. Clearly, the butt rate them, right? That same guy. Clearly. Same guy. <laughs> yeah, probably. Clearly, I am in a wee bit of trouble, but that is Sean Stapia, right? Kill all these guards and return me to my family, I think. Yeah, fuck you. I'm sorry. I'm not even going to finish. Okay, what do you want you to do is just really, you know, kill the guards, which is three people. And, yeah, it pisses the house off. They're not happy, and I got this guy as one of my friggin' cell swords. I have no idea who he is. He's to be the best swordsman in the world, or what would you do? You're in a caravan job. Well, you I take a contract. I know I took up a contract. How reputable would that be and if I just turned like, on them? Can we take out one more and then kill these guys? And I get nothing. I don't get paid. Nope. You get another mouth to feed. And two, you guys still have collapsed lungs. Get. And <laughs> never trust a mercenary. <laughs> uh. You spit a clear throat and quickly clear your sword, uh, sheath, and strike caravan guards down. Aww. Maynard sees this and quickly barks out an order. The rest of the three swordsmen to follow suit. There's a brief, confused carnage. Well, we accepted the contract. Of course there is. The caravan guards unsure what's going on as your men set upon them. Freeing the prisoner, he thanks you profusely, profusely, then tells you to lead the way. Once we get to Erzfest. Esteban? Erzfest. See my lively and grinning face. You know, I have a feeling this guy sucks balls. He's got boss weapons, though. Yeah, I don't see my pockets full Hooray! of crowns. But we will do it part two of this and see if we could get... Oh, good. You're not going to give up. ...homo here uh, up to his little town. Uh, I don't feel good about this. This is the first time I ever hey, broke a contract. Hey, it's an adventure. But it is. And how's it got? I think I just pissed them off on purpose and now so let's go back here real quick got it northern guys mm -hmm. this is them right here ruthless for Google. me and for mine greed of course you know I did you know piss off the little gay treasurer so my people are summer wing now it doesn't tell you who's fighting who but so your far people? as I know white and black so far fighting. you're helping a Gota quite a bit so you threaten one of their treasures, and you patrol their well. Breaking neutral, all right. 
destroyed an orc encampment, contract negotiations turn sour. They don't like me. So I have a feeling Whitey's going to be my friend, and then Gata will soon be my friend. So or to be a dick to everyone, for the most part. I'm allied with the town of Wolin. Good, they like you there. Wolin is. Where is Wolin? Wolin. Whitey. It's I'm telling you, Whitey loves me. Gotcha. So That's your one home base. Mm-hmm. Folks, we will call it a couple days. End it there. Hope you were excited. Hope you were happy. Hope you want to see what happens when I turn this douchebag back to his house. I feel like Dog the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> If Dog breaks his contracts like this, what good is he? Uh, that's true. He's just the worst. But Browby's excited to see what happens next. Just give him a religious speech and call it good. Ah, right. A few that hugs. pacifies him. All right, brah. It's time to end this show, cause Adios. I I don't I don't I don't speak Oakland. <laughs> Adios. Have fun. Good night. Bye bye.